Welcome to the Interstellar Stories channel. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into a topic. In Psalm 22, King David experiences intense suffering as a metaphor for Christ. It is a messianic psalm. Like Jesus would eventually cry out on the cross, he calls out to God for assistance. David begs God to deliver him from his foes, just as Christ did when he begged the Father to spare him from death. Deliver my soul from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Nowadays, the majority of the world considers dogs to be cherished pets. However, dogs used to be mostly scavenging, wild creatures that were seen as dirty in Israel. Dogs were employed to protect homes and herd flocks in a few passages, but they were more often utilized as ferocious animals that prowled the streets, consuming dead corpses and trash. In Scripture, opponents were referred to as dogs, the sword to kill, the dogs to drag away, the vultures to devour, and the wild animals to finish up what is left is how the Lord designated four different types of destroyers in Jeremiah 15.3. Paul the Apostle urged Christians to beware of false apostles, referring to them as dogs. Be on the lookout for those dogs, those evildoers, those flesh mutilators. Revelation 22.15 refers to those who were cast out of the kingdom of heaven as dogs, along with those who practice magic arts, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. In Psalm 22, David refers to his enemies as bulls or wild oxen, lions and dogs. These are metaphors and not literal animals. In verse 16, he reports, Dogs surround me, a pack of villains encircles me. They pierce my hands and my feet. The power of the dog speaks of the creature's ability to surround its prey like a pack of wolves, to bite, tear, inflict wounds, do evil, and destroy. Both a sword and a dog can kill. When David prayed to God to deliver his soul from the sword and his precious life from the power of the dog, he feared losing his life in a cruel and violent manner. The terminology power of the dog may also invoke the might of the Roman Empire in Psalm 22's prophetic portrayal of Christ's suffering and death. It was Roman soldiers who carried out the crucifixion of Christ, surrounding Jesus, stripping off his clothing, nailing him to the cross, and even gambling for his clothing. A dog was the Jewish derogatory term for the Gentiles. The Romans, the Jewish high council, and Satan himself rallied together to put Jesus to death. For the most part, dogs are presented in the Bible in an offensive light. They symbolize despicable, hostile, or evil people who group together like dogs to prey on the vulnerable. Our great enemy, the devil, operates like a dog or a lion prowling around in search of someone to devour. Thus, the power of the dog is the lethal influence of one's enemies who band together to inflict harm, injury, or death.